Hello, and welcome to 2020. I am Dark Minded Sith, and it's been a while since I've said that. And I'm just here to talk a little bit about my channel, some plans, and things to expect in the near future. So first things first, I just want to say Happy Holidays and Happy New Year to everyone. I hope you all had a great holiday. I hope 2020 has been fabulous for you so far. And tell me about your holiday, if you'd like, because I hope it went well for you. And so recently, you may have seen I did a kind of random Ocarina of Time 3D Master Quest stream here on YouTube. And that was to test the waters a little bit. I got a new laptop. I've been wanting to get a little bit more into streaming. And I decided to try it out on YouTube. It turns out the, the turnout was quite successful. Um, you guys tuned in, you guys were very supportive, and I enjoyed it quite a bit. So I think I'm going to try that out a little bit more going into 2020. So the main thing I wanted to talk about here is to just look out for and expect that. One thing I wanted to mention in regards to that is YouTube does have this little feature where if you go to someone's channel you're subscribed to, you'll notice this little bell here. That's like a uh, notification setting. Well, if you click on that, you have the option here to pick all and personalize. If you choose all, that will get you to get notifications anytime I post something. Uh, and it'll go right to your email. So that's useful for if I go live and start streaming here on YouTube. It'll also notify you if I post a video of some kind. Um, but this is going to function similar to how Twitch does, where you get notified when someone goes live. So if you want to be more in touch with when I go live, then I would recommend going to my channel and making sure the bell goes to uh, get all notifications. So as far as what game, well, I randomly did a Ocarina of Time 3D Master Quest um, the last stream. I, I didn't even start a new file. I just jumped into a random file just because I wanted to try things out a little bit. Um, if there's anything you'd like to see or you have any ideas, you're welcome to shoot them my way. Um, but the one game that I kind of have in mind right now is Pokemon Omega Ruby. Uh, I've been getting a little bit of a hankering to, to play these games again after uh, Sword and Shield came out. And I have the 3DS capture card, so might as well use the darn thing. So uh, I've considered some kind of different run, a challenge run of some kind, um, but I'm a little dry with ideas. So if you have any, you're welcome to shoot them my way, or maybe we can just kind of uh, do challenges that are different uh, over the course of the stream. Maybe change it up consistently. We'll see how it goes. So those are my plans for that. I'm thinking maybe a Tuesday night or Thursday night schedule as of now. I don't have anything official yet, but that's what I'm shooting for right now. Um, I'll keep you guys posted more on if I come up with some kind of day that I think works best for me. But right now I'm thinking maybe Tuesday evening or, or Thursday evening might be the best time to do streams. Um, you can always follow me on Twitter uh, if you haven't to also get in touch with things a little bit more. YouTube now has this feature to just like post updates in text. I might utilize that a little bit. Um, but anyway, those are my big plans going into 2020. Um, as far as any kind of new Let's Plays or anything, eh, I mean, I've kicked around an idea or two, but... Doing these streams just sounds so much more fun and so much more exciting to me. Uh, I just like sitting down and talking on a more personal level and interacting with people while I play. I mean, it's it's just become so much more enjoyable over Let's Plays. I mean, the only real major satisfaction from doing Let's Plays now would just be like the creative uh, post-production aspects of it. And there could be a project that calls to me at some point where I might prefer that, but as of now, I feel like streaming is much more the way to go. 
So I think that that's more of what you can expect from me. Uh, in the meantime, one thing I did want to take a little bit of time to promote here is my good friend Griffin Lobster. Uh, I regularly co-host with him on Monday nights when he streams. Um, if you want to uh, check those out and see a little bit more of me, if you will, um, I'm a regular co-host on that, and that is generally on his channel. That is twitch.tv slash griffinlobster. And he streams Monday nights at 7 p.m. Central Time. So you're welcome to follow him on Twitch or follow him on Twitter or anything like that. Uh, odds are I'll be there either co-hosting or I'll be in the chat. Um, I definitely recommend him even if I'm not present because uh, he is an exceptional entertainer. And he's a very good friend of mine. On a related note of Griffin Lobster, uh, we have kicked around the idea of doing a podcast. Um, it's going to mostly depend on our schedules. I mean, it's a little hard for us to really coordinate things on a consistent basis. But it is an idea we've kicked around. Um, you guys are welcome to shoot some suggestions or let me know if you're interested in that. Um I don't know. It's just, just something we've talked about. <laughs> uh, I don't know if it'll go anywhere, uh, but just wanted to kind of throw it out here while I'm doing the update. And lastly, uh, if you do want to watch anybody, any kind of Let's Play or you're hankering for any new content, the um, person I can probably most recommend right now is a friend of mine named Ashley. She has a channel. It is Electro Love Boat. Um, she tends to do like uh, like character driven uh, interactive games on her channel. Like she's done Heavy Rain and uh, Until Dawn and Life is Strange. And if you like me, I feel like you'll enjoy her. She's got a really enjoyable personality. Um, she's very funny. I, I, I think the way that she interacts with games is pretty enjoyable. Uh, she keeps things pretty simple. Uh, but she really doesn't get much at all of a turnout. Um, and as the, as such, she hasn't really posted much in a while. Um, so I recommend checking her out if you want somebody new to watch. Uh, she's done Paper Mario in the past. Um, I think that and probably Heavy Rain are her most enjoyable projects. If you're looking for something new to watch in the meantime... Well, I think that about wraps it up. Um, I just wanted to close by saying thank you so much to everybody. Uh, over the course of the past couple of years, I mean, your kind comments and support has just been... I don't know what to say about it. I mean, it's people leave me comments and have commented on the stream saying that they you know, miss my content and they have have such fond memories of watching me and it just it absolutely means the world. It, it really does. So, uh, well, I hope the streaming in 2020 will uh, throw me a little bit more out into relevance. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. And we'll see you in 2020. Maybe. <laughs>